Okay, I'm not sure if you notice or not. Whenever that we increase our speed over um, 100 km per hour, you can feel lots of winds come in over, uh, from here, from this hole. Right, a lot of winds came from this hole, from this hole, from this one, from this one. So, by right, uh, by right over here, not supposed to blow the wind up. It's supposed to be actually that quite a vacuum over here. It's a negative pressure. It's supposed to be just uh, maintained or slightly actually vacuum, suck in. That's how actually that um, we call the downforce. So the problem right now, whenever we go faster, the winds not become what we call um, um, strong and stronger came over here. It means that the wind came from the bottom there and pushing the fairing and pushing the bike up. That's the reason that, you know, causing this bike uh, lifting, you know, whenever that we are at high speed and we feel like uh, very light, you know, very light and it's causing that it's a loss, loss balance. So the idea is uh, I want to reduce the wind over here. I suspect it came from the fin just now. Um, I, I might be wrong. So, but, so for now, I'm going to do that first. I mean that to block the wind, that fin first. I'd like to share with you what's the problem with the CF1125 OTRG. This uh, bike, uh, for those who uh, own this bike, uh, quite well known the issue. We are facing quite, we are, we are facing like a wobble or tur turbulence uh, whenever the high speeds uh, exceeded 140 kilometers uh, an hour and above. So when I validate uh, what's the issue with this bike, I found that something wrong with the uh, design itself. Uh, first of all, this one, you see the fin, this is the front fin over here. We have two very nice uh, front fin over here. But if you see uh, this fin, when go in inside there, inside the fairing, it goes straight to inside this uh, one of the hole of I to, I to say it's a fairing cover. This is uncovered area. So the, the wind from here can go straight and then go go to inside the fairing over here. Same with these things. This one and some of the install a horn, you know, in just in front. You can see here, just in front of the you know, uh this uh uh air wind, eh? So I'm not sure why they're doing that. It's not supposed to be blocking if they really want to uh, use use that as an air scope. But you see the same thing also. So the uh, the wind from here, the wind from here straight, you know, go in here and then straight into the fairing over there. You see, there was an exposed uh, hole over here, right? So I believe that this is the issue uh, with this uh, the design. So I, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to block these two, these uh, fin, uh, maybe use a tape or whatsoever from outside. So the wind cannot go in from here because uh, I don't think this one is uh, functioning because we have a big, you know, opening over here. It's good enough uh, to cool our radiator. And then another one, this issue, the peeping. This is the peeping window just uh, to see the coolant over there. You see, then that side we don't have. So this is quite unbalanced. Uh, in terms of er ergonom ergonomic, uh, aerodynamic. So, um, I'm going to close this one as well. So, then I will update you what's the result after I just do a minor uh, tweaking on this air van. I'm going to close this one, cover this one, this both. This one and this one I want to cover from outside. And I want to cover this hole as well. So, I'm going to... Okay, I done covered everything. All the fin over here I covered already. So I covered this side as well, so I ensure that the, the wind cannot go in here. It's fully covered. Right, so now the wind sound it can come in through this space only, straight the radiator to the radiator, and hopefully it's go down. Um, yeah. So the next steps. Uh, okay, I also covered the peeping window for the coolant there. Even I also covered the this uh, what I call uh, coolant bottle hole over there and i'm using uh uh this is a carpet grass uh, uh adhesive 
sticker. This is very, uh, very strong, very powerful. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I didn't install any. I didn't install any deflector, wind deflector yet over here because I want to try this one first. But you know, bye. Okay, guys, uh, I just uh, back from testing the bike, so I have a good news to share with all of you. Um, so this is just to share with you the map where actually I, I, I performed the testing just now. This is just nearby my house. Um, basically, this is uh, exit of the highway, uh, but it was called express, express way. So uh, I basically, I start from uh, here, you know, uh, from the, 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 the below point here. Um, and but this this the whole stretch is uh, just around 1.5 kilometer uh, so and some more is quite uh, uh, heavy traffic also not so heavy but got the traffic is are blocking so I cannot uh, do the full uh, potential testing just now but anyhow I just want to share you what actually I have so this is uh, came from uh, the my you know uh, CF motor ride uh, apps uh, the map that I just performed just now, you can see here the, the distance uh, from A to B, where actually I, I performed the testing from A to B and later on from B to A and B, A to B again and B to A again and A to B again. So I think I, I do A to B one time, B to A, A to B two times, to three times, A to B three times, B to A around two times just now. So, and this is, uh, you can see the max speed that I achieved just now, 189 km an hour. And this is, uh, uh, it, like, like I say, it's quite short and some more. Uh, there are actually uh, traffic uh, blocking for all the five, five, five rounds just now. So, uh, but I just want to tell you that something that I achieved uh, tonight, where actually that the hypothesis uh, DOE that I'm, I, I, I performed tonight actually is successful. For me, it's considered successful. Um, because I can feel that uh, the bike uh, not wobble, almost not wobble at all, up to around near to 180 km per hour just now. Right? So, but uh, at 180 plus, I can feel a bit uh, a wobble, but not as bad as uh, last time. So, I, I believe that other bikes also have the same uh, uh, wobble uh, whenever we go to the high speed. But, um, so this is uh, just a hypothesis whenever that I try to, you know, block uh, the, uh, the air, the wind to, uh, from going into the, uh, the, the, the top air wind that I showed uh, earlier. But uh, one thing that I observed, inside the fairing, they, they are actually uh, on both sides. They have a, a, what I call uh, this one, the air, air, uh, air ram, you know, air ram. So there, there, there was an air ramp pipe inside, pipe inside there. So whenever that we block uh, the front uh, air vein, so that actually that a little bit impacted the air intake, right? Because we blocked the thing. So the best thing actually that um, we need to have a, a straight uh, connection between the air vein straight to the air ramp pipe. Okay, guys, so this is the one I want to uh, share. I want to continue a little bit. So this is the one I say that... Um, the air vein here or air van over here so the if you see inside here um, how, to, how to show you can see not here okay so this is on left here this one actually is a air ram you know from outside uh, from from the uh air filter right so actually the uh whenever that we have a wind coming uh, from here at, at least right uh they use this wind as well for, for this purpose. I uh, same with this uh, on the right hand side as well. Uh, there was a what I call a uh, air ram over there uh, just uh, at the back of the uh, horn. It's the same pipe. So the best thing actually that uh, we need to have a strict connection between this uh, uh, what I call uh, air flow ram straight to the our front uh, van. So if we can uh, modify I mean that from a do it from uh, from uh, inside here a straight connection then I think that will be a better lah. so with that uh, if we can manage to do that then we can completely seal all this you know hole over here we don't need a hole over here right I'm not sure uh, is there is, this is a correct uh, right design or um, maybe in China they have a I'm not sure I'm not so sure I'm just a guessing 
I'm not sure if in China maybe they have actually is a, a, a cover but when it come to the enforced they didn't install I'm not sure about that right so but uh, uh, for the benefit of the doubt that uh, I just say that we don't have this uh, from uh, from the CF motor itself right so something wrong uh, something's not complete in the design itself we're not supposed to have all this exposed all the what I call this uh, RM supposed to be a uh, direct it, it, the, the best one actually if they can straight away come out uh, from here is that right okay guys uh, so um, other than that our uh, CF motor 125 OTRG the bearing is very huge right? very nice it's a very very huge right um, if you notice uh, others uh, big bike uh, touring grand touring bike uh, like uh, on the ST GTR uh, BMW RT K16 they have uh, a louver you know at the side at the side of the ferry so they have left and right a louver to so where actually the wind from the you know straight from the front go in and uh, can also escape through the louver you know? so that actually create uh, a down force uh, and make the bike uh, planted when it comes to the high speed so that is another modification a little bit extreme if you want to do uh, we can have the lure itself right, install the, I'm not sure where we, we can do that but it's something we should think of how to do that right and other than that the damper the damper right so the one that is able to want to buy what we already use I can say that it's functioning, but that is not as good as an uh, adjustable uh, damper. Maybe we need to put the adjustable damper to make it uh, more uh, tightened, right? so more tight. So that will be improved as well. So there are a lot of things, a lot of stuff actually we can do if we do some uh, direct observations on our bike. So instead of complaining, right? so uh, maybe it's the right time for us to do something on our bike. With that, uh, we can, you know, uh, uplift the value of the bike itself right so instead of uh, people saying that uh, it's a waste of money buying this bike so since we know that uh, CF Motor itself or even the uh, Malaysia and Foss who actually that's very busy with the uh, many uh, models that they have until they don't really take care of all this stuff right so maybe we as a consumer have to do something thank you very much see you again bye bye